Hello everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, so today I am eating the Red Baron Brick Oven Supreme Pizza. I just got it out of the oven so it's hot. I, I either get the Supreme or the regular cheese. The Supreme has sausage, green and red peppers, pepperoni and onions, sausage made with pork, chicken, pepperoni made with pork, chicken and beef. It says 100% real cheese. So I do like the brick oven pizzas. I think they are very, very good. Let's get a picture for my thumbnail, if I can do this without. <laughs> if I can do this without knocking the pizza over, that would be lovely. Ooh. Okay, so, I think I told y'all before I usually have pizza like once a week usually if not once every other um, I had I've got that pizza in my Walmart haul so I did not order a pizza this week since I have this here so this is my pizza for this week so what I typically do let's give it a cut if I can do it sitting down So how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Let's go with... That one has a lot of sausage. I know, I'm, I think I told y'all I'm a little picky with my sausage. We will start right there with two pieces. Woo! It is hot, hot, hot. Yeah, this is a pretty good pizza for a frozen pizza. I mean, let's see. I like the crust. It's, um, the crust is seasoned. It's pretty good. It's like a seasoned crust. Ooh, sorry. So yeah, this is my pizza for the week. It's probably still going to be hot. I think my favorite frozen pizza is still the Screamin' Sicilian, and the Red Barons are my second favorite frozen pizza. I like the sauce. It actually has flavor. So, I had my interview, my one interview, this past week, and it was three, three separate interviews. <laughs> First one was a phone call, second one was video, and then the third one was the very next day with three people video. Ooh. A lot of comp and, and they, they do the star, well this one did the star method of interviewing. So behavioral type questions. Ooh. But <laughs> 
an hour and a half after the interview, they called and gave me a job offer. And I accepted. Now, the only bad thing is I don't start until October, beginning of October. So I'm excited. And it involves doing, you know, doing what I love, so. Now, the only bad thing is it is five days a week and I have to work weekends and holidays. But, I mean, my last jobs, I had to do the same thing. So, you know, when you're new, that is. Towards the, you know, the last two years of my most recent full time, I didn't, didn't have, barely had to work holidays. But, I mean, they gave you the option, but I believe it was like time and a half. But because of senior seniority, <laughs> typically all the new people would, of course, volunteer to work the, the holidays. But when I first started, I worked every like pretty much every single holiday. What you gotta do. So, I mean, I, I really love four, four day work weeks, but yeah I was so nervous after that interview class <laughs> after that interview <laughs> interview they asked one question that I have never been asked in an interview before but it was the very last question <laughs> And <laughs> I was like, it, it actually took me like a minute or two to answer it. And then I asked if they could please repeat it. What? They called me an hour and a half later and gave, gave me an offer, so. <laughs> I was like, I was so nervous. I was like, oh no. Now it is a contract position. So I'm not sure if, you know, some companies they'll either do like seasonal or contract, but if you if you do well, you know, you have a chance of getting hired on permanently. So I'm not sure if it's going to be the same, you know, if I do do a good job, if they will offer something further, but But even if not, I graduate college after my spring 2024 semester, so. I'll be pretty close to graduating. So yeah.
I don't get too nervous when starting new jobs. Now, maybe the night before I might get a little bit nervous, but nothing major. I think I'm more in, more nervous with interviews than actually starting. And I'm making more money than I did at my other job that I was at for three years. <laughs> I'm actually doing this week into next. I go check on two cats each morning. Which one will be this one? And I want one with not a lot of sausage. And this one. Sounded like sounded like someone was trying to get inside my door like you could, when you put a, a key in, inside the, the key inside the lock that's what it sounded like I was checking my camera <laughs> like what I probably should eat faster because space again. But yeah, this pizza's pretty good for a frozen pizza. If I had to rate it out of 10, with 10 being the best, I would say this, the brick ovens are an 8 out of 10. They have flavor. The crust is good. It's seasoned with something. Pretty tasty. Slowly I'm getting more tomatoes off my tomato plant. I have a little bowl over there with like Maybe six of them over there that I picked off. I have some friends that are in the same position where <laughs> it's just slow for tomatoes this year. Or slow to turn red, I should say. Slow for them to turn red. I got tons of peppers. I'm waiting for them to turn. Tons of peppers on both of those plants. What I think I want to do with the peppers once they turn, there's probably at least 20 on both, if not more than that. I'll probably just cut them up and freeze them. I don't want all those to go bad. I won't be able to use them that fast though. But they freeze pretty well. I mean, you buy frozen peppers in the grocery store, so I'll just cut them up and freeze them. Starting to get full, but I think I can eat one more piece. I 
I didn't go to the store yet this week. I have no idea what I want. Good to be a small fish. When I do go to the store, I might make, I remember way back in the day, I used to make, it was chicken that you, that you cut up, rice, and with the chicken, you add French dressing, apricot preserves, and I think, I think a packet of that Lipton French onion soup mix. I have to go through my recipes. I have a little recipe box. Oh, there's Stormy. I don't think y'all have ever seen her on live. You must have, y'all must have seen her jump off the couch. She usually comes down the stairs and jumps over. Hi, Stormy girl. She can be evil sometimes. Hi, Stormy girl. I guess I'll see it when I edit this video. <laughs> Maybe that's what the noise was when I heard that noise earlier. You gonna come say hi to our friends? Storm, they've never seen you live. And Samara, I'll wear Samara. Oh, there's Samara. Wait, you can't see Samara. Oh, wait. There's Samara. <laughs> she's, I'm sure she's blocking the way from, or waiting for Stormy. Did you just turn your hair up? She'll jump up on the table. And if you try to get her down, or if I try to get her down, she'll bite me. <laughs> you can you can pet her one minute, and the next minute she'll bite you. She <laughs> when we both when me and my daughter had the vet appointments, we go to the same vet. Sebastian had his appointment. I was picking him up from his dental back in March. And Stormy's appointment was right after she just looked at me when I talked to her. Hi, sweetness. Hi. I'm talking about you. Um, Stormy had her appointment right after I checked about like paid and all that. So we were able to be in the same room. And um, I we told the vets. It was a vet and a technician, and we were like, sometimes she is as sweet as can be, and you can pet her, and other times you'll pet her once, excuse me, and she'll just bite you. And uh, we told them, well, they were examining her. She was fine for maybe the first, maybe five to 10 minutes. You know, they check everything. And the vet tech, leaned down and she she bit her stormy bit her now she didn't draw blood but she's sitting on top of the stove stormy girl I can try to get her, but she'll probably bite me. Stormy girl. I want to try to get her. Just forewarning you, though, she might bite me, or she might get mad. But I do have videos of her on my 
cat channel. Let's see if she comes. Are you gonna come over, Storm? You wanna come say hi? Since I'm done eating? One sec. You wanna come say hi? Come here, Stormy girl. My counters and my table get wiped off all the time. They jump on you. There, there's no training. But I have Clorox wipes sitting over there. But because they go up on the counter and jump up on the table. Let me see if I can get her. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. Say hi. See? <laughs> Ow. Say hi. Don't eat my tomatoes. So yeah, see that's what she does. Got little teeth marks. <laughs> what you doing, Stormy Girl? Huh? What you doing, Stormy Girl? If my camera dies, it's because of her hair she comes. What you doing, Stormy Girl? So I'll be nice to her. And she'll still come over and bite me. Probably. So yeah, she's the one that I trapped from outside. She had a tail injury. So I had to trap her and took her to the vet. She was originally with my cat. I couldn't put her back outside. Like after I trapped her, I took her to the vet and all that. They had to amputate her tail. She was already spayed. I was gonna have them spay her and they shaved her belly and she already had a scar there. So yeah, I got all of her vaccines, dewormed her. But she was already spayed. So she was someone's cat, but no one ever came forward. So now she has a little nub tail. <laughs> Samara's still back there. Yep, she is. Samara likes to chase Stormy. That's why I don't mind her sleeping. See, Stormy just hissed at her. What, Storm? It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay, Stormy Girl. I won't let Samara get you when I'm down here. See, that won't happen, huh? That won't happen. I won't let her get you. I won't. You're allowed down here, too. Right? Tell her. She'll probably bite me if I try to grab my drink. Let's see. Now, if I was eating, I wouldn't let her up here while I'm eating, but I'm done eating. So I don't care. Table gets wiped off with wipes, Clorox wipes, anyway. See, you got to say hi, huh? Even though you butt bit me, it's okay. I still love you. But yeah, so she was mine, but then um, when I first had her, I had gates up at my bathroom upstairs so that she could get used to the kid, the cats. With Ma if Mama was still here at that time. She's been in the house for like two years now. But uh, once I took the gates down, once, you know, her tail, she had to be in the bathroom with gates for like a month um, until her tail healed and she had to wear a cone plus deworming and all that stuff. She had to get two different, or two separate times, she had to be dewormed. Uh, put the gates down and she just took to my daughter. She always is in my daughter's room. They have um, a big tower in her bedroom, toys. But the, the door, the bedroom door, my daughter's bedroom door is open all day. So she can come down and come and go as she, as she pleases. She comes down sometimes, a lot of times she'll come down at night or in the evening. Yeah, I have upstairs in my daughter's bathroom, it's her litter box. And then I have two more litter, or three more litter boxes in the basement. So yeah, I do have a couple of videos of Stormy on my cat page. She's cute. Princess.
But you're a cute girl, even though you're biting me. So yeah, she took to my daughter, so sleeps with my daughter and all that stuff. Right? So now she's my daughter's cat. My daughter named her. So when my daughter and her boyfriend get a get their own place. Stormy will be going with that. So yeah, that's the little story. And y'all got to see her finally. But anyway, I better go before I run out of space. Hopefully it's still going. Yes, it is. All right. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope that y'all have a good day and a great rest of your weekend. I honestly don't know what will be coming up next food wise because I didn't go to the store yet. Maybe that chicken stuff, but I'm not sure. But when I post or make something new, I will of course post another video. So have a good day everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.